Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. Now this was going to be the last issue for this week of the Future State event. We are three weeks into this event so if you guys haven't been keeping up with it, go ahead and check out the links in my description. It'll bring you to a playlist that has everything Future State related. It'll get you completely caught up. And this last issue is going to be Future State Catwoman, issue number one. Now, the, the Catwoman Future State line takes place in 2025. So Batman at this point is perceived to be dead, and the Magistrate has taken over. And with that being said, let's dive into this issue. Alright, so getting into this one, we pick up in Alleytown, Gotham. And the Magistrate is loading a bunch of people into trains. Now, if anybody else has noticed, the Magistrate operates a lot like Nazi Germany. And what's happening here is that they're loading these people up to a place they call the Reformatory. And we can only assume that they're going to try to do some kind of uh, brain manipulation, torture, whatever they have to do to reform these individuals to operate exactly how the magistrate wants them to. So more or less, they're going to try to brainwash these people into obeying their rule. And so as everybody is loaded into this, we see one gentleman just beaten to crap, nearly to death. For speaking out, for calling them fascists, and reminding him that they, they are Gotham. And then all at once, in unison, the people say, Here, many have lived, and lost in the cold nights and long days. We follow none, but we always have each other. There will always be strays. And as the train gets underway, they have somebody from the magistrate here overseeing everything going on, making sure everything goes in order. And this is when we pick up with Catwoman. And she's planning to jump onto this train. And she's got people on the inside. And essentially, she wants to steal this train. It's, it's full of people that they care about. You know, citizens of Gotham. And ever since, you know, Batman disappearing or dying, at least that's what the news is saying, everybody, to include Catwoman, has all really looked to that as a martyr. And they've stepped up. She's no longer just a, a cat burglar. She's doing what she thinks Bruce Wayne would have done. What Batman would have done. And so with that, she throws her plan into action. And she jumps onto the train. While inside the train, she has somebody open the door for her. She's able to break in, knock out the guards, throw them overboard, and assume control of this portion of the train. And this is when, at the engine of the train, they get notifications. Notifications that there's been a breach. And this is when the captain in charge lets us know that the coaches 12 and 4 have individuals they call high-risk prisoners. And so this person from the magistrate, Miss Conros, decides she wants to take a look at who's in there. And she goes into the coach and sees six guards lined up with a man rugged and beaten behind a high security door. Now, picking back up with Catwoman, they make their way through the coaches. And they get to Coach 12, where she unleashes somebody that's going to help them out along the way. And that somebody is Onomatopoeia. And with him being released, he uses blood to create his mask, throws it over his head, and him and Catwoman unleash hell on all of these guards. And now while all the guards are focused on what's going on down there, they leave one guard behind to protect the other prisoner. But this is when we see that the individual from the magistrate stab the guard in the neck and take off the blonde wig to reveal that it's actually Talia al Ghul. And the prisoner is none other than Bruce Wayne. And so, the Batman lives. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think. You know, I, I jumped into this one not really knowing what to expect. It's a Catwoman story, so I definitely saved it for last. I wasn't expecting it to be the best story out there. But honestly, I have to say, this is probably one of the better ones from this week. We see Selina really taking on a, a more vigilante hero role, trying to protect the people that nobody else is caring about. Because at the end of the day, the Magistrate doesn't care about these people. They just care about reforming them so that they're more agreeable. But the Magistrate and this private security, they were brought in to hunt down masks. To hunt down vigilantes. And so it doesn't matter if you're good or you're bad or you're neutral. They're coming for you regardless. And it's really awesome 
to see Talia Al Ghul working together with them, with Catwoman, to be able to take on the Magistrate. And then an added bonus to that, we see the arrival of Bruce Wayne, captured by the Magistrate. Now, Dark Detective picks up two years after these events. So it's going to be really interesting them trying to fill in all the gaps for us and give us really a, a sturdy timeline of events of exactly what's happening. Alright, so we pick up at Alleytown Gotham several years from now. And Cheshire Cat is setting up a bomb. A bomb that will blow the electrical systems that run the railway. Giving them a, enough of a window to be able to escape off this train with all the assets they, that they came for. And so if they hit the charges just right, as the train goes into the Irontown Tunnel, that gives them a window. No eyes on the train, the cameras and drones can't see into Gotham's longest railroad system. So 28 seconds before the trail fully inside the tunnel. And this is when we see Catwoman on the ground, barely able to get up because she is just, she's been run through it. Her and Onomatopoeia whooped all these guys, but she is rough right now. And the substation explodes. And the plan has begun. Everything goes into action. And this is when Catwoman is seeing Bruce Wayne at his funeral. Mourning him, wishing that she was more, more. Been more like him. And this is when Batman appears in front of her. And he says, you know why he did it? All those times, cut to shreds, shot up, and bleeding and broken. He did it because he was afraid he would end up this way alone and trapped in the dark with no one but Batman to keep him company. You want to get out of here? Wake up. And this is where she wakes up to being slapped by Onomatopoeia, only for her to say, you do that one more, one more time and I will tear your freaking arms off. And even Onomatopoeia is like, whoa, okay, my bad. Sorry, I was just trying to wake you up. And then it points over and makes a gas sound and they see a sedative gas making its way into the pod and they've been sealed off. Now picking up in the central command center of this train, they think they're met by their boss, but really it's Talia Al Ghul and Bruce Wayne taking the train over. And of course Bruce Wayne, you know, still in his ridiculous mentality of no killing, even though these guys are literally murdering people in the streets, he wants to hold on to this code. I think at this point, holding on to this code is, is probably the dumbest thing you can do. And he's only doing it because it's literally the only thing that he freaking knows. Even Talia Al Ghul is just like, dude, like, you're literally playing with your hands to hide, tied behind your back. Like, this is how you ended up here in the first place. But then we cut back over to Catwoman. And she's sitting there with Onomatopoeia trying to figure out a way to get out of here. And she remembers that her, her suit is magnetized. And she wants to create a concussion big enough... To create a, a electromagnetic shock wave to open up these doors. And so she puts her hands to the door and opens it up and blasts the door open. And then she comes in, fist swinging with fury. But alas, there are too many of the guards. And she's brought down with a gun butt to the back of the head. And as they sit here with a gun pointed to her head, giving her her last little, last words if you will. About to pull the trigger and this is when Batman shows up from behind. And clocks the guy right in the back of the head. And so our heroes have overtaken the train. And Catwoman goes up and kisses Bruce. And they kind of have a moment here. But then they find out that there's a radio signal going out. Letting the peacekeepers know that this has happened. And that they need to get here as soon as possible. And so there's a bunch of kids on the back of this train. And they go back to see these kids. And Bruce lets her, lets her know. Like there's an emergency uncoupling mechanism. You need to go with the kids. You need to make sure that they are safe. And I need to go with the resistance. And she asks Bruce, you know, when this is all done, how do I find you? And Bruce says, just steal something. And so Catwoman and all the children make their escape. And so does Bruce Wayne. And the train explodes. And handcuffed to the outside is our Captain Colonel guy with graffiti paint on the side of the train that says, Batman lives. And that will be the end of this issue. Now, I know this one was relatively quick. It was really more action than dialogue. We, we really saw Talia Al Ghul and Catwoman just whooping butt through the entire train to try to rescue Bruce Wayne. And this all, at the end of the day, means that Bruce Wayne is going to end up with the Resistance, which we haven't seen yet. 
and I'm really, really freaking excited for because the Resistance is an awesome team. It's essentially Bat Family team. And now we're going to have Bruce Wayne introduced to it as well. So they kind of didn't even get rid of the Bat Family. They kind of just grew up <laughs> is really what happened with the Future State Bat Family. There's not too many people that are different. Like Jace is technically the new Batman. But outside of that, you know, everybody's grown into their different personas. You know, like Spoiler and Oracle and stuff like that. But yeah, all in all, I have to say it was it was a good issue. The, the Catwoman line really did surprise me as a whole. And I'm super excited, really, for the Resistance. Because I have seen these guys talked about. They've been introduced a little bit. I want a full-on The Resistance line. And I know we're going to get it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit that notification bell because Infinite Frontier is right on the horizon. Also, be sure to check out Rogue City Comics in Medford, Oregon. One of the best freaking comic shops that you are ever going to find. I guarantee it. I love the environment, I love the people, and I love everything that they have in stock. Please go check them out. And last but not least, go ahead and check out Comic Breakdown and More Podcasts. Available every Friday with a new episode. Check it out on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. We talk about everything from comic books to WandaVision to the new Justice League trailer. And until the next video.